Happy. We're going to focus on making sure that we're writing complete sentences over the next few writing period, uh, classes or periods. So we are going to be using picture prompts. Picture prompts are just pictures that you're going to write about. Okay, and we're really going to focus on writing a complete sentence. So a complete sentence has to have a subject. The subject is a noun or what, who or what the sentence is about. So for example, the little dog ran outside. The subject is the dog. The dog ran outside. Okay. Sentences, complete sentences also need to have capital letters. The first word of a sentence needs to be capitalized along with proper nouns. That's specific people, places, and things. The third thing a complete sentence needs is a verb. That's an action or a helping or linking word. So this, the little dog ran outside. Ran is the verb, it's the action, it's something that you can do, okay? Uh, the fourth thing is that it needs a punctuation. It needs some kind of punctuation at the end of your sentence. And number five, it needs to make sense, okay? And it has to be a complete thought. So what you're going to be doing is you are going to be completing these different um, picture prompts, focusing on these five things. So let me show you an example. Okay, so this is what you're going to be doing. So I'm going to show you and model it with this um, slide. So here I see, I'm just going to stop and I'm going to think and I'm going to look at this picture and see what do I see. Um, I see a duck and I see what I think is like a seagull, okay? And it almost looks like the duck is hitting the seagull in the, in the neck and I see his friend in the background are like, what are you doing? So who? Who is this sentence about? I'm going to say duck, okay? And what did duck... And it says, did what? What did duck do? Duck, he, and see how I'm changing it blue now I can like type in it, hit seagull in the neck. Or bit, uh, just say hit. So who, duck, did what? Hit to whom? Who did he hit? He hit seagull. Why? Because he was, because he was grabbing his food. Okay. So who duck? What did what? He hit. Who did he hit? He hit seagull. Why? Because he was grabbing his food. So now I'm going to go to write my complete sentence about this picture. I already did the planning. Right? So my complete sentence is duck hit seagull in the neck because he grabbed his food. All right. So when I go back to my planning page here, it said who duck did what hit whom the seagull. Like who did he hit? Hit the seagull. Why? Because he was grabbing his food. Let's look at my sentence again. Duck hit seagull in the neck because he grabbed his food. So when I go back here, I want to make sure that I have a capital letter. Beginning of my sentence is capitalized. There's no other proper nouns here. Okay. Um, I have punctuation. I have a period. Do I have a subject? Who is the sentence about? The sentence is about duck. Do I have a verb in action? The action is hit. And does the sentence make sense? Does this sentence make sense? Okay. So duck hit seagull in the neck because he grabbed his food. That completely makes sense. So now what's going to happen is you are going, this was the lesson video. Okay. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to share a couple of these picture prompt slides. You're going to have two different pictures to complete each writing class. And I want you to really make sure that you're writing incomplete sentences. I cannot wait to see what you do. And you can always come back onto here and double check to make sure you have all five of these things for a complete sentence. Have fun.